Hey there English speakers, Jesse here. And I want to help you with your writing today. Writing can be tricky, but I've set this set of criteria, four major categories to consider when you're doing a writing assignment. These are specifically tailored for the Cambridge writing exams, but I tried to make them general enough to be transferable to any writing assignment you'll be asked to do. The four criteria are content, communication, organization, and language. Content, two questions to consider which are the biggest questions, I think, especially when writing exam English. The first, is there the appropriate number of words? That's easy enough to check. Look at the instructions, read how many words your writing is supposed to have, and write that many words. The next thing under content are, are all of the points answered clearly. Make sure you read your assignment carefully, and make sure you underline or check every point that they're trying to ask you and answer every part of the question that you're asked. Next, under communication. Is the message clearly written? You should always proofread your writing after you finish and try to proofread it if you can by reading it out loud. You'll catch any minor errors and any silly errors. Maybe you didn't catch it when you were writing and you wrote it the wrong way. You'll be able to catch it if you know it. Any simple errors that you make or even simple spelling mistakes, you'll be able to check those in your proofreading. And be sure you're writing to the appropriate audience. Know who you're writing to. Are you writing to a university newspaper or a university professor board? Are you writing an essay or are you writing an article? Know what you're writing and who you're writing to. Also, make sure your writing is well organized. To help you do this and to help with fluency in your writing, to make it sound as natural as possible, use linkers to connect ideas. That way we don't have many separate sentences, but it all connects as one idea. And every time you start a new idea, use paragraphs. Write on a new line and indent. That's one of the most common er errors that I see in my students. Make new lines, add a new paragraph, add a new idea, and indent the first line. And of course, we're all looking at your language you use. Are you using a variety of the basic grammar that, and vocabulary that's at your level? And don't be afraid to attempt to go higher, a more advanced level than you have. If you're an intermediate, don't, don't be afraid to make a mistake, but try to use a more advanced level. Maybe use expressions that you think you've heard, but you're not completely sure if they're the correct way. If it's above your level, then you're showing you're attempting to continue to improve. So these four criteria will help you if you think of these and remember them next time you're doing a writing assignment. Let me know how you do on any writings you have. Go to Language Galaxy or write in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.